Hey, hey, it's Lewis again, and for this video, I'm going to react to five star reviews of my five star reads again, and this time it's gonna be for Crazy Rich Asians. Hooray! So, if you've been watching videos from my channel for many years now, y'all know that Crazy Rich Asians is one of my favorite book series, and I Love this book, one of the books that I love in the series, so I want to spread some more positivity and yes, we're going to react and read some 5 star reviews for Crazy Rich Asians, so let us begin. Amazing! This book is amazing. I have never been so entertained by a book before in my life. I couldn't put this book down. I made myself stay awake just to continue reading it. This book is so hilarious. I really enjoyed reading it. Indeed, it is funny. It is, um, I would say, entertaining. And yet, I definitely agree that this is a fun read. Yes, I gave into the hype. Yes, it was worth it. This was such an entertaining read from start to finish. Character-driven stories are my absolute favorite when it comes to contemporary fiction and Crazy Rich Asians doesn't disappoint. There are so many chapter characters, but yet they were easy to keep track of as they all had their own unique characteristics. While reading this story, I kept thinking, there's no way that families could actually be this rich. But according to some research, this is all too real. My mind is blown. I won't lie, I definitely bought the next two books in the series when I was only halfway through this first installment. It was that good. Hopefully I can catch a screening of the movie soon. Yes, I also gave into the hype, I'd have to say, and then also when you were mentioning about character-driven stories are my ass. Well, a lot of contemporary stories are actually character-driven because like what I've been saying in this channel, you know, contemporary books are more of like exploration of characters like context or circumstances which can involve like the way that they think so hmm, yes that's a kind of a given and yes as somebody who is a southeast asian myself which may be the way that's why i was able to immerse myself in the narrative is because i did see like well this is more applicable to like chinese southeast asians like or Southeast Asian Chinese, whichever, like a lot. But there are, of course, few that are non, you know, Chinese Southeast Asians that are actually really rich in Southeast Asian countries. But yes, it is true that these group of people exist. So that's why I wasn't like so surprised. And yes, I bought the second book, but actually the thing is, I have like a concern about what you said, there are many characters and then, you know, you can identify them. I think it's great here, or it's not that noticeable, but I think in the next book, just something that I'd like to let y'all know with China Rich Girlfriend, um, I didn't like how it had so many stories going on. So I was, and as somebody like me who's more of a plot driven kind of like reader, although like I said, it explores the characteristics, but to me it's like those circumstances, they have to like make sense to the overall like narrative as opposed to be like, meanwhile, here's what's happening here and they have this sort of like, you don't know, it feels that they have to stand on their own story, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I am glad that you enjoyed it. Ouch! Moved to Singapore from the USA 30 years ago. Met a Singapore girl and drank the Kool-Aid. Singapore is somewhere between Nirvana and Utopia civil society. Great education system and food to die for. Sadly, this Roman clef hits close to home and raises the curtain on the behavior of ultra-rich Ferrari driving jet setters. But it's hilariously funny and contains a wealth of Hope can swear words to enrich your vocabulary. When I asked the Thai Thai for translations, I almost got my face slapped. Don't think graduates of Anglo-Chinese school will like this book. It gets down and dirty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, like I said, you know, if you've had experience, especially if they're directly in the setting, then perhaps 
you would have a better reading experience. But to me, one of the primary reasons that this book succeeds is because of Rachel. She never tries to be anything other than what she is, a middle-class, highly educated, nice woman who is proud of her own history and accomplishments. She remains down to earth and poised in the face of some very stiff challenges. She navigates some very choppy waters and at least one tsunami. When she's thrown for a loop, it has little to do with a vicious behavior on the part of some of Nick's family and friends. And yes, there are tw some twists and double twists. The writer's voice is humorous and there are some funny if eye-rolling bizarre scenes. Imagine a muggle sent to Hogwarts by mistake. I found this book delightful but with some sharp edges and I can't wait to read the second in the series. I'd have to say the second in the series is different and there are things that we will discover. Crazy Rich Asians made me feel seen for the first time in my life and this person underlined Crazy Rich Asians and Sian. So, I feel you. Feel you. You must be Southeast Asian or even whichever part of Asia you're from. I feel ya! Five Crazy Stars. I absolutely adored this book. It's by far one of my favorite reads this year ever since I saw the trailer. I've been dying to see it and yet I still haven't so I thought I'm going to buy the book and read it instead and I'm glad that I did because I was far from disappointed with it. It was such a fun and light read that I read it in less than a day. It was like I was... It was like I was I eating the pages. Ha ha! I'll definitely read it again sometime before Christmas because I just thoroughly enjoyed it. If you haven't read this yet, I urge you to grab a copy and read it. Wow, that was, first of all, that was super quick for you to read it in a day. You know, you have to deal with all the text as well as, you know, the footnotes. But, you know, some people can read super quickly. I admire you all and I have the utmost respect for y'all for that one. And I just have to say that the movie is definitely different in terms of like especially some of the scenes were a bit different in terms of the timeline as well as like the ending. They're different. I'm trying to still contemplate how they're going how they're gonna deal with the succeeding books with how like the ending in this one is sort of dealt with. But I personally think that like the succeeding books can like stand on their own because they have like different stories, but Hilariously opulent and over-the-top Crazy Rich Asians takes a closer look inside Asia's elite. The heirs of Singaporean fortunes trying out to each other, snagging next season's fashions off the runway and throwing their money around on private jets and the most delectable food. It's absolutely absurd and entertaining. From the rich New York professor who wants to propose his humble girlfriend to the cashed up and fashion conscious wife of a tech entrepreneur to a meddling mother and pompous playboy, there are so many colorful characters at play here. I loved all the descriptions of the food from fried noodles to dumplings and the more adventurous Asian fusion. This book is guaranteed to have you craving the best satay or banana fritter dessert. There's also the fashion. It's plastered with international designers, brand name labels, and Parisian elegance. Diamonds, jewelry, hairstyles, and expensive gowns. Crazy Rich Asians is all about opulence. A five-star read for me. I loved every minute of this hilarious nonsense. Looking forward to picking up the sequel. So, I have to say that this is more specifically in terms of like the Southeast Asian like context where of course there's the Chinese diaspora. At least that's what I'm kind of like getting here. The characters here are kind of like in a Chinese heritage or Chinese descent. So it's kind of like specifically this book is more focused in East Southeast Asian kind of like context. So that's what I gotta say. <laughs> I listened to the first half and read the rest physically, and in the beginning, I was a little worried that this would be too cliche for me. But man, was I wrong. This book was fantastically funny and catty, but 
also had the depth to the characters. I found myself so sad for one of the characters towards the end and just wanting them to catch a break. I love that this is not a standalone novel and that we will get to see more from these characters. I've always been fond of Asian culture and have spent some time in an immersion of Mandarin Chinese, so it was something that I could connect with on a personal level and missing the expressions and slang. It was great to learn some new potions from the Malay and Singaporean dialects. It made me miss the history rich and the open wit and comments that no one was afraid to talk about. Ha ha. Lots of characters that you could love to hate and also love to love. All in all, it was quite a fun journey along with these families and sig the significant access that was hard to even fathom in real life. I would love to see how the movie compares now. Indeed, it is more focused on Southeast Asian culture. Um, of course, there's some Malay words that were in there, and of course, it's set in Singapore. So obviously, there's a lot of Singapore, you know, um, activities or like the uh, customs of Singaporeans that are being talked about. But yeah, mainly, like I said, because the family's more of a Coming from a Chinese heritage, it's much more focused on that. And we all know that Singapore is composed of people from the Chinese heritage, the Malay heritage, the Tamil heritage, so just to name like a few. I loved all of the different characters and the switching perspectives. It was a thoroughly enjoyable read. I really felt immersed in the world Quan describes. Now, I didn't feel like the perspectives in Crazy Rich Asians was switching that much, which is maybe that is why I liked it. But in China Rich Girlfriend, there's a lot of perspectives that, like I said, made me feel like I was reading an anthology. So, I love this book. I thought the drama was so juicy and well done. The characters had such a wide array of personalities, and the writing style was amazing. I do think the author could have cut out Astrid and Michael's relationship. Those scenes dragged after a while and I found myself finding the urge to skip their chapters. I also like the ending of the movie better when Rachel stands up to Eleanor. I wish there had been a showdown of that sense at the end. Other than that, it was great. Fun read. Now, okay, now I want to react to a couple of things here. Although this is a five star, like we are part of a five star review at least from what I recall. Now, with Astrid and Michael, you know, there's a lot more to that, which, you know, if you're looking for something juicy, then you will find out when you read the succeeding books. And that confrontation scene, which, by the way, this is something that you might like um, when you read, like, China Rich Girlfriend. To me personally, it's because I felt like these books are more, like, more of a funny kind of rom-com vibes, which I didn't really get with China Rich Girlfriend, but if you're looking for more like really drama juiciness, go read China Rich Girlfriend. <laughs> I love this! So much name dropping, name calling, and snappy, snarky little comments. This was a fantastically fun social commentary on a world that I knew nothing about but fell in love with. Kevin Kwan is wonderful at describing the opulence and absurdity of the world of these crazy rich Asians. I can't wait to read the next one. Indeed, I think that's the goal of this book is to show like what's like the rich life but on the oriental side. So something that's very, very interesting for folks to find out and I'm glad that people like see it. You would think that this book would make me feel worse about not having tons of money, but really it makes me feel a lot better. The houses and clothes it sounds cool, but it sounds like a lot to deal with. Plus, do you really want to be rich and the topic of everyone's prying eyes and gossip? No way, I am private and I liked it that way. Plus, it sounds like a lot of work trying to decide what to wear every day. Is this designer still in style? Should I wear this colored shirt with jeans or a skirt? Wait, I can't wear that to my friend's party. I just wore it two months ago. See, 
Try thinking of all that every time you want to put anything on. Lots more work. I think that's the point of it, like showing like the other side and what are like the um, like consequences involved when you are like on the other side, when you're like too privileged. I think that's also something that's gonna make you contemplate about, and that's what like this reviewer perhaps thought about. Feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on Crazy Rich Asians, what are your recent 5 star reads, or what are the books that you recently gave 5 star ratings, or any 5 star books that you've read. And I hope you folks enjoy this video. If you've made it this far, leave an emoji that's like a finger pointing up. And if you folks like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon somewhere down there to keep yourselves posted about my videos. And also, click down links and handles of my social media accounts, so feel free to check me out and follow me there as well. As always, thank you super much for watching, always be thankful, and unleash the reader in you. Bye y'all!